quite a bit of Media Composer's raw power comes from a, this very subtle thing, the ability to really customize your timeline and in all sorts of powerful ways. And I'm going to start off with something fairly simple here. I'm going to make the V1 track a little bit taller. I'm going to hold down the Option key and I'm coming to the bottom of the track. That's the trick. You should come to the bottom of the track and you'll notice you'll get up, down, moving arrows. And I'll pull it down to just make that a taller track. I like V2 the size it is. I'd like to take all the audio tracks though right now. I'd like to make them smaller as a group. In a very similar way that we can do this in uh, when we're in clip view, when we're here taking a look at clips in, I'm sorry, frame view. Very similar to using the command L for larger and command K for smaller here. We can do the same thing on tracks. I'm going to switch that back to text. I'm going to make sure I'm on the timeline. I'd like you to see under the edit menu, you have the ability to enlarge and reduce the tracks. Notice it's changed based on the window you're on. And you should just have a nice little warning here. If you're on the composer monitor, it's going to say enlarge or reduce the image. Since I want to do this onto the timeline, I'm going to choose here and say enlarge the tracks, command L for command larger, command K to reduce, command K for smaller. I'll say command L for larger. And all the tracks got larger on the timeline. Now I don't want to adjust the time code one or the edge code. We only see edge code when we're working with film. I'm just going to say command L larger, 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 larger. Notice on A5, it's a stereo clip. That's why there's a split in the track. And now I'm going to do some command Ks because smaller because I want them to be a little bit smaller than they existingly are. So that's how we can change the track height. Now I want to get in changing the track color. So I'm going to just turn off all of these. I'm going to come up to V2. Now V2 for me is a lot of B-roll. It's only one B-roll clip here. I'm going to choose to change the track color and I'm going to change the track color to just a very, very light blue. I'm going to come here. I have no idea why V1 changed. That was kind of a little odd. I'm going to go to A1 through A4. And I'm going to make all these brighter than they are. I'm going to make them almost white. Now, when I come again here to the track color, notice that we get a gray here, but we don't get a white. Let's use the gray. Down on A5, though, I'd like it to be completely a bit shade or two darker. And in fact, I could go completely for black for that matter. Again, I come down to that let choice of, of color. And the problem I have is I don't have a black here. I see a default. I see a bunch of colors. If you hold down the alt key when you come to track color, it brings up the system picker. And I could choose here for the bottom track completely black. Now, I've never done this before. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it blacks out the clip. It probably is not a great choice. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to do that a second time. Alt key down, track color, and I'll pick for that. I'll pick a fairly bright color, but just with like the slightest tinge of yellow in it, because it's going to be my music tracks. And the last one I'm going to want to customize here this is V1. This is where I'll be telling my story. I want this definitely the standout. I'd like a nice bright color. I'll take my track color. And I'll pick a nice bright green so it's nice and easy for us to see and easy for us to read. And this is a very subtle thing, but you know immediately when you put down a clip on the timeline, if it went onto the correct track based on this color. And while this is ugly, the sin, and I certainly wouldn't use this for color correction, for my raw edit, for my storytelling edit, part of my edit, this helps me really see and feel where my clips are going based on track height and track color.